Hi everyone, welcome back to Zara's Keychain 247. Today I'll be showing you how I season my beef and get it ready for cooking, you know, stew or frying or um, grilling. You know, in, in Nigeria we call it orishi rishi. There's a lot in here, there is um, skin, tripe, heart, tongue and the beef itself. So what I'll be using garlic cloves cinnamon ginger you, you know you could use fresh ginger fresh garlic fresh cinnamon anything chili flakes and mixed herbs salt to taste my usual jumbo curly parsley shredded onions and bay leaf and i'll be cooking this using my kitchen assistant called pressure king pro the first thing you have to do when you want to prepare beef is you have to wash the beef clean 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 first I would add my shredded onions I did say I will put up a video of how I shred my onions and preserve them in the freezer and then next add the curly parsley Add the bay leaves ginger bit of cinnamon you know you do not need a lot of cinnamon because cinnamon is quite strong I know a few people do not like cinnamon but because it's quite strong so just bit of cinnamon add some cloves I know a lot of Nigerians will be like oh no this is Abuja Dio ah, Abuja Dio yeah it's Abuja Dio but you know then you add some I always add some chili flakes <laughs> bird's eye chili flakes garlic um, mixed herbs one teaspoon full of salt for the jumbo seasoning i will use one and a half teaspoonful you mix you add a little water to this to help with the mixing not a lot i know a lot of people because simply because they want the stock fine then they then they add a lot of water but i'll just add just a bit of water not a lot not a lot of water not too much water to go in because another thing is because I'm not using stove I'll be using the pressure cooker so it does it you know within split of within split of the time that it will get done on the stove First thing we do is get this in here the good thing about this you know pressure king pro is that it's got a meat button I'm not sure if you can see that can I zoom in for you to see can you see the meat button so I go for the meat button and can you believe that it would only take 13 minutes 13 minutes for the beef to be ready for all the rishi rishi in there to be ready 13 minutes later Let's see what has happened. Mm. So here is everything. And the good thing is it has got stock. This stock can be used for anything from fried rice to jello fries to stew to anything. I might be doing something with it, but I'm not sure yet because <laughs> I'm not a big fan of stock, to be honest, because um, I, I do believe that there's a lot of fats in, in the stock so I don't really use stock so as you can see it's really really soft it's just come out really soft like that can you see and so that is how I season my beef turkey chicken or anything you know um, for boiling cooking boiling cooking okay whichever way some people call it boil some say cook well I think this is cooked <laughs> right yeah so it's 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 ready now to go into stew or be grilled or something or vegetable or anything so it's just ready and, and the good thing is you can actually just have it like this because it's really really tasty it's got that twist and you know for Yoruba people 
you'll just absolutely love it because it's still got the pepper in it. It does not really need to go into the pepper to, you know, for you to have it. So, so if you just like your your beef or your chicken bowl not fried or grilled or anything, and you just like it like this, then you can just have it with your meal. Um, thank you so very much for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, please do leave them, you know, down below, and like subscribe and share please thank you thank you bye happy cooking